Hi guys, welcome to Bongi Texas Marcus Channel. Guys, uh, today ang ating i-flex na uh, ulam ay itong muscles. Alam ko kung ano sa Bisaya ito, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, muscles with, of course, some giant uh, dahon ng ano, itong alugbati, guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think, what do they call this? Uh, alugbati. My gosh. This is huge. Huge. Look at that. Mm. Nano lang yan dahil hinugasan ko ng maigi, guys. Mm. Yan. Yan isasahog natin ngayon sa ating muscles kasi naalala ko si Arita Villegas um, yan palagi ang inuulam ko no kumukuha ako ng mga masters uh, units ng uh, edukasyon sa pagpapahalaga doon sa Philippine Normal University tapos yung tiya ko nakatira sa San Juan so ako nag dorm nagdorm ako dyan sa normal university, yung ano lang yung fronting luneta guys so ngayon, ang nangyayari uh, ang tiya ko na kapatid ni mama na si Miss Rita Villegas ang isa sa mga leading ladies ni uh, Mang Dolphy yes, the late Dolphy Kizon um, nung nag-aartista kasi si tiya nung bata-bata pa siya dyan sa ano, Manila. So, uh, naka-starring siya. Naka-two-piece bikini. <laughs> Kasama si <laughs> ang mga angels ni Dolphy. No, no, ang title ng sini <laughs> ay Kampo ni Satanas. <laughs> so, guys, uh, it's a comedy film, but, you know, Uh, they were made to wear bikinis, two-piece bikini. When my grandfather saw Lolo Panta saw the movie, um, doon sa yung city na ano, movie house, sabi niya, Rita, you come home. <laughs> Umuwi ka na, huwag ka mag-artista, artista dyan ha. Pinakikita mo lahat ng katawan mo. <laughs> so yun, uh, yung tiya ko yan, yun yan, uh, natasa. In fact, tiya ko yan napaka close niya ni Joseph Estrada kasi nung tumakbo si Jus ano during the 1986 uh, people power di ba among the cities around Metro Manila uh, ang nangyayari ay meron ding mga ano di ba mga order na papa alis yung mga mga mayors and everything so era was one of those so Uh, my tia took a bullet yes um, until now it's still in her left arm I think uh, that bullet that was shot at her when they defended Arab at the municipality of um, at the municipality of San Juan so doon sa pinaglabanan uh, sila yung malapit lang sa church at saka San Juan High School na talipapa noon doon sila nakatira hanggang eh, inano sila uh, nirecall sila nilagay sila doon sa uh, ano nilagay sila doon sa uh, Tai Tai Rizal so ngayon meron na siyang bahay sa Tai Tai, tai, tai Rizal Rizal tinulungan ng eldest na anak tinulungan din namin na makapag uh, tayo siya ng uh, kanyang sariling bahay doon. So, Tia Rita, I think, is now like in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, second to the youngest of the brood of seven of my mom's uh, family. So, pito sila. Tia Elena, still alive, but already uh, blind. Uh, nauna pang mamatay yung mag-take nung isang anak niya na nag-take sa kanya si uh, Anne Rosita may she rest in peace uh, she used to uh, sell pulvoron 
uh, in the metropolis, the metropolitan area of Manila. So in Metro Manila, nag, uh, nagtitinda siya, naglalako ng ng ano ng ng ano yung sinabi ko? Just good day. <laughs> Polvoron. So, Tia Lina, then Tia Laling Zuela, uh, Ragot in Medina, and then we have uh, Tia Leonora, uh, Gairamara, and then fourth one I think is, no, Mama first, Perla, then Leonora Gairamara, then uh, Junicia How. Uh, who, who now lives in Tagbilaran Bohol and then uh, let me check uh, and then Tia Rita the sixth one and then the seventh one uh, is the late Melchora Bukal uh, uh, yung uh, asawa ni Uncle Dodong Bukal of uh, Hingo of City so Yun guys, ang itong kapatid ni Mama who has influenced greatly in in my life, especially my cooking skills. Uh, Papa Panta, Lolo Panta was also a chef in the first uh, the regional hospital in Cagayan de Oro. And then hi, and then uh, Lolo Panta was hired by the the what's this? the nutritionist in, in that particular uh, hospital so during the American time so those seven uh, sisters that I told you about uh, the sixth of which is uh, Miss Rita Villegas she remained Miss Rita Villegas pero meron siyang anak one adopted by the name of Redintor Villegas uh, who hails from uh, I don't know which family clan in Cavite. Uh, tapos, uh, meron siyang anak sa pagkadalaga na Japanese, si Clyde. So, siyang nagturo sa akin ito. So, guys, lalagay na natin without much ado. Lalagay na natin itong, ano, hindi na natin damihan ng tubig masyado. Kasi, ano, Nasisira ang beauty. Mm. Ayan guys. Patakipan muna natin siya guys. Mm. Pag open natin ito. Uy, what's happening? Oh, look at that thing. Say hello honey. Wow. Uh, this is Bella, my youngest grand uh, child, guys. Say hello, Bella. Oh my gosh, that's so dirty, Annie. It's so dirty. Okay. Okay. Ayan. Ayan, ang kasama natin dito. Okay, tingnan natin, guys, kung ano na pa. Secreto ni Tia ko. O damihan ng sabaw. Kasi ano. Masisira ang kanyang beauty. Ayan. So guys, bye. Thank you so much for uh, watching my videos all the time. And uh, sino bang hindi ko na mention doon sa mga anak ko? Uh, Sister Meli Paglina, Paglinawan. Uh, sino pa ba? Of course, ang mga Bibiera family ng Ubay guys. Vince Daan, 
Camelonia Shell TV, Tita Ben Ben, Nanay Alay, uh, Ati Inday Channel, uh, sino pa ba? Uh, greetings also to Joan and Leon Show, Pilandas Channel, guys. Uh, Luita uh, and Leon Channel. Marisa Junakis Channel, guys. Okay. Uh, next time around. Uh, Bohol, speaking about Bohol, simply yes. Yeah, chat chat At, uh, of course, uh, si Maridel, guys. Maridel Channel, yeah. Gumagawa ng mga cakes. Okay. And, uh, ambisyoso ng ungoy, guys. Kabilog's World. Uh, LRB Slim Bibo. Sino pa ba? Lola Becky, of course. Vanessa Acrylic. Uh, channel. Art Channel, guys. Tapos, sino pa ba, guys? Ating Nathan Vlogs and Family Lifestyle Channel. Uh, ang dami pa, guys. Okay. Next time, mga iba, uh, comment below kung gusto mo pa-shoutout. Okay? Bye-bye! Have a great day!